Do you guys ever wear liquid lipstick and then regret it five seconds later? Because I am. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different kind of video and this video is going to be laid back, chill, hopefully not too long. So go ahead and grab a snack, get comfy, and we'll just jump right in. I'm going to go ahead and answer about 50 questions. I'm not going to drag on the answer. I'll just be pretty quick. So number one is what is your name? My name is Karina. Um, then number two is what does your name mean? You know what? I've actually never googled what my name means So let me go ahead and check so I just googled what my name means and it comes from a Latin and the meaning of my name is Beloved so that's pretty cool. I've actually never googled it before so it's cool three is where are you from? I am from Canada and to be exact Hamilton which a lot of people probably won't know from the States But it's close to Toronto about 45 minutes from Toronto. Five is what do you do for a living? So I actually graduated my program at Mohawk um, Child and Youth Worker, which was a three-year course and I currently have two jobs One of them is an educational assistant and then the other one is a child and youth worker at a group home So I basically just work with kids with special needs or Behavioral issues or anything along the lines of that and I really love it. I've been doing it for a long time um, I volunteered a lot when I was younger. So number six is what is your favorite color? I think it's pretty clear that I love purple. <laughs> I really like pink as well and um, I like the shade black Next question number seven, what is your star sign? I am a Libra, so the sign of balance. Great is what is your favorite kind of music? I personally really love Spanish music. Everyone that hangs out with me knows that. I do listen to like the radio and like pop and hip hop and all that, but if I'm downloading music, it is probably Spanish or I really like Romanian music too, which is really odd because I don't understand it. I just like music that you can dance to and I find that rap music is like super hard to dance to unless you're like, you know popping out the guns or something and then pop music is just overplayed on the radio so I just get sick of it and I personally like old music so I honestly love like the Jojo and the Jesse McCartney and things like that like old school music nine is who is your favorite singer so I currently don't have like a favorite singer I really like Ed Sheeran though I can listen to his music if I want to be like in the feels but um I really like Romeo Santos um I don't mind Justin Bieber's music. I don't like love and fangirl him or anything, but I like his music. Um, I've been really loving Cash's new album. You guys need to check it out. Shanna's favorite food. I absolutely love nachos. If I can eat nachos every single day, I totally would. And I wouldn't feel guilty about it. But like actual food, I would probably say anything that has to do with like a wrap. So like a chicken wrap, a bacon wrap, anything like that. I'm like a total sucker for wraps. I actually don't care for like pastas or anything like that. Um... Yeah, like when I go for restaurants, I'm always getting like a wrap of some sort. I never get pastas because I just, I don't really care for pastas. I'll still eat it, but it's not my favorite. 11 is favorite drink, so I literally only drink water, honestly. But if I do go out for like some dinner or something like that, typically I do ask for water, but if I'm feeling for something fizzy, I'll definitely ask for a root beer. That's like my guilty pleasure. I used to drink pop all the time, and now I'm kind of cutting out from drinking pop because it's just literally a bag of sugar that you're drinking. So yeah, I would definitely have to say water, though. Um, number 12, favorite snack. I... This is going to sound really weird, but I love to eat sunflower seeds. Like, I can just sit there all day eating sunflower seeds. But another snack that I really like is ice cream. <laughs> really bad, I know. Eating strawberries. Like, they have to be, like, cold for me to eat them and enjoy them. But I really like strawberries. Sometimes I'll even get some Nutella and just, like, dip the strawberry with the Nutella, and it's delicious. Number 13 is favorite holiday. I really like Christmas, obviously, because you're spending time with a family. But I also think that some, for someone in my field, it's just a good time to kind of decompress a few weeks off and just kind of enjoy spending time with yourself, with your friends, with your family, and just kind of recharging for another year of work. I like Christmas. I just like spending time with my family. I love buying presents for my family and friends. It's like the best feeling ever when you get them something and they're just smiling and yeah, it just makes me feel really good. Number 14 is your favorite pastime. So I actually have two. Um, the first one is just being outside, enjoying the fresh air, and just watching YouTube videos. And the second one is going for a walk, so that being alone, 
alone or just like with my dog or family and friends I honestly could walk forever because I just feel like you don't even realize that you're walking if like you're listening to music or if you're with a friend talking you don't even realize that you're like exercising in a way so I really like that especially because the weather has been so nice 15 is a favorite sport so I absolutely love soccer I used to play for about five six years when I was younger and then I just kind of got busy with life and I haven't played it ever since like on team or anything but um, I could watch and play that for the rest of my life and I would be content I also like volleyball I haven't played on a team since elementary school but I still do like it I can't watch it on TV though so I wouldn't really say it's like my favorite sport 16 is what is something you are talented at I don't think I have like a talent like some people could draw can sing could dance and I don't think I have any of those talents I think the only like talent talent I have is just making people laugh and making them feel comfortable and like not awkward um yeah that's my talent 17 is what is something you wish you were talented at I always have wished that I could sing I pretend like I'm a good singer and pretend like I'm hitting all the high notes but if I could have one talent and I could wish for something it would be for me to be a good singer I love singing and yeah that would be what I would wish for for 18 are you competitive I'm like competitive in some situations and then other situations I'm like honestly I'm just here for the fun it just depends um, I guess who I'm playing with or what the situation is for the most part yeah I'm pretty competitive 19 is describe yourself in a single sentence honestly the only thing I can think of is a nice person until you cross me and to be honest that could be a whole totally new video if you guys want to me to explain kind of like life lessons I think that I would call them but um, I basically feel that if you are going to dish out any negative energy to people or if you're going to do them wrong you're just gonna get all of that back and probably ten times worse and I've always lived by that so yeah that's probably how I would explain myself I am really nice when you get to know me but I also have a limit to be honest Number 20, what is the best compliment you have ever received? I always get compliments on my hair, like for the length, you guys know I have super long hair. I get it on my smile and I'm grateful that I was able to get braces because my teeth were horrible before. Um, I've also got it for like my tan, I'm super tan. But something that I always like getting is that I make people laugh like that to me is probably one of the best compliments because I know personally too that you can walk past someone that is smiling and think oh wow like they live such an amazing life but it's not always like that um i take you know mental health very seriously um and just to know that someone can say like oh like you brightened up my day or you made me smile like that makes me feel good that makes me feel like you know that person's having a good day because i was able to make them smile so you know any compliments that i ever receive i appreciate but that one always hits home for me one is what are some of your bad habits so I have a quite a few just like you know most human beings but I'd probably say my two worst habits are biting the nail polish off my nails I literally do not do like just simple color anymore because I literally take it off the next day so I'm always doing shellac now so yeah I always pick my nail polish off even if it starts chipping just a little bit I'm like taking all of it off because I can't stand that and then number two is probably like rolling my eyes I roll my eyes so much guys like it is not acceptable how much I roll my eyes to the point that one day my eyes are gonna get stuck but um yeah probably those two are my most common bad habits number 22 is what are your favorite things about yourself so I actually want to do another video about this and like self-confidence and everything like that but I want to say that one of my favorite things is that I have like thick skin like you can bug me with your comments and stuff like that but I think I have thick skin to the point where I will take that as like feedback you know like I don't think of people giving comments even if it's like, you know, you're ugly, your makeup's ugly, this is ugly, whatever. I don't think of it as like, oh my god, like that's rude. Like, you know, I do the things that I want because obviously I like them. I dress the way I, I do because I like it. I wear my makeup the way I do because I like it. So I'm not one to get like super emotional and hurt by comments by other people. I mean, I haven't got any negative comments because I don't have a lot of viewers, obviously. But yeah, I'm not one to be like, oh my god, that person just said that and get really hurt about it physical thing that I like about myself I would probably say again my teeth but I mean that came with work obviously but I really do enjoy my smile and I pride it because it was expensive <laughs> number 23 is what is on the top of your bucket list I want to travel I've only gone um, to Portugal Cuba and like 
the states for a couple days but um i want to actually travel the world so like italy i want to go to rome especially um i wouldn't mind going to greece i want to travel especially as i'm younger because as you get older and you have a family it's harder more expensive of course but i definitely want to travel in the next three years at least to three different countries if that's every single year i'd be okay with that but i've always wanted to travel it's just that money was always an issue and now that i'm working my butt off i want to be able to you know take the money that i've worked for and spend it on something that i will always remember and i know that traveling would be one of them before are what are three long-term goals that i have so one of them obviously is going to be very common from everybody but obviously to get married and to have a really happy and healthy family number two is to buy a house i've actually been looking for about a year now but it's just not in my cards this year so hopefully next year i'll be able to afford a house if not the year after that which is fine because i'm still 23 so the third one is actually something that i kind of regret not doing in high school but it's going to a less fortunate country and even if that's just for a week and just helping around help building i know in my high school they had a program that took them to help build schools and I really regret not going to that because that would have literally changed my life I think and changed my perspective on life we don't realize how lucky we are to live in the world that we live in or in the conditions that we live in so I definitely want to do that and the next question 25 is kind of the same lines of the other question but it just asks my three short-term goals so one of them would probably to get a full time at the school board that I'm currently working at and so I'm just really hoping that by September or hopefully by November that I have something permanent and don't have to worry about you know having to go from school to school because that is currently what my job is it's just picking up shifts at different schools so I'm hoping that I'll be able to land a full-time I'm hoping as soon as possible the goal is to reach about 500 subscribers maybe by the end of this year I honestly don't know how many have up to date I don't think it's over 100 though I think it might be just a little bit less than 100 and my last short-term goal is to lose 10 I know that seems like nothing but I've been trying to lose this 10 for a few weeks now and it's just not coming off I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier so I've been trying to look at like diet plans that will happen in the next month or so and yeah we'll see how that goes 26 is what are you doing today to help you achieve these goals so obviously I just listed about six different goals so that would take me a while to go through them and tell you what I'm doing but honestly I want to talk about one thing in particular that I've been really passionate about and that is the law of attraction I want to do a video about this as well I mean if you guys are interested but it's basically what I put out and I think in the universe will come back so I haven't had a chance to actually buy any books about it I've just been like reading online and Google and stuff like that but I'm definitely really interested in the whole process of how the energy we put out kind of comes back to us and I basically think that if you are very positive in that sense that you will attract those positive energies and positive vibes back see it's just what you put out in the universe and I think that's what's going to help me to achieve all the goals that I just listed Number 27 is what is your biggest accomplishment? I probably would have to say finishing off my school. I'm actually the first one in my family to go off to college and finish the program. Um, also even getting um, a position within my first year of being at the school board, like that's not really very common it's a very hard job to get into and to get an LTO which is just a contract so I was really happy about that and I'm only 23 so you don't see that very often you are 28 is what is an ideal first date to you I personally am super simple and easygoing I don't care for anything too crazy and fancy for a first date I personally think that the best way to get to know someone is just to be one-on-one -on -one with them have no distractions um, and just do something simple like a simple setting I have to say going for a walk to like the beach or something like when guys take girls to the movies for like the first or second date I feel like how are you going to talk during a movie how are you going to even connect during a movie so I would even just say going for like ice cream or just a drink and I'm not saying alcoholic I'm saying like you know a coffee or something like that I think that's the best way to see if there's even a connection there first I don't really understand why people go to like the movies or anything like that because you're not going to get that connection right away 29 is what is something you look for in a partner so I have three really important things and the first being able to trust that person if you don't trust that person it will not work you're not going to ever succeed in that relationship number two would probably be communication um, I'm in a long-distance relationship so 
we don't have that communication again not going to work and it's just going to cause multiple fights and then the third one is someone that I could have fun with if you're boring but you know are good to look at or whatever like that will wear off eventually so if you can't have fun or if you're not exciting like me I mean we don't have to be the exact same person but just something along the lines of we both like the same things that is really important and I was really lucky with my experience with dating, especially with my current boyfriend, because we are very similar in the same way. We have very similar personalities. So it's just I was lucky in that sense. But it definitely is someone who you can get along with and share those exciting moments and communicate and trust is definitely the most important things I would say. Number 30, who is your role model? I don't personally have a role model per se. I mean, I do have people that I'm like, wow, like they achieved all of this. But I don't think that having a role model is really useful in a sense because everyone's lives is different. So if someone did something and it worked for them, like that's great and, you know, celebrate that. But your life is different. Your conditions are different. Your journey is different so for me you have to be your own role model you have to achieve your own goals and sure it's it's good to look up to you know your older sister or something but at the end of the day you make your own life choices and that's just how the cards are going to fall for your life number 31 is which of your parents are you more like i would definitely say my father i think i'm very similar not even just in looks because we do look alike but i would also say stubbornness and very loud <laughs> and he's very likable too so i get like his personality traits opposed to my mom who's very quiet and shy um yeah um number 32 which of your parents are you closest to um, it just like depends to like what situation we're talking about you know some situations with my dad it's easier to get along with and then some situations my dad's like so clueless about it and my mom is my go-to 33 is what is the last book you read i'm not much of a reader which i'm not like advertising to people and saying to do that but um, I really like like the chicken noodle soup books, which I've mentioned to you guys before. I like reading like really short novels and to the point. I like reading novels that are, you know, about self-growth and stuff like that. I don't have one currently that I'm reading. Um, I do have a book that I read in the past. I'll link it right here. I think it's like The Untethered Soul, I believe. But if not, I'll link it here. And it was amazing. It just taught me a lot about my own self and how to succeed not only in like life situations but in your inside like in your mind which i know sounds weird but i just like those books opposed to books that are about like romance or scary novels i'm not really into that i'm more into books about self-growth and self-love and stuff like that so number 34 is what is your favorite fairy tale i really like frozen and not only because of like the movie in itself because that was amazing but just like the whole story and purpose of the movie um i really like how at the end she found love with her sister and found the happiness with her sister just like the whole like you don't need a, a partner to feel that love and i feel like a lot of people sometimes feel that in order to love themselves they need someone else to love them and like that is far from the truth because if you do not love yourself and if you do not feel that happiness with yourself you will not feel with anybody else it may be very temporary but it will not stay it's not going to fill that void in your heart of not feeling happy with yourself and i know that's not totally what the movie's about i know that she ended up finding the happiness with her sister and stuff but i'm just saying like the whole aspect of feeling loved um i think that before in fairy, fairy tales they would always have it where the you know the princess found the king or the king found the princess and it's not about that you're not going to ever live that fairy tale life um so just keep that in mind especially if you are a younger person watching this and you're thinking like fairy tales are real and everything like that like they're not <laughs> like relationships are not just about fairy tales and just about happy there's there's a lot behind the scenes that you know a lot of people don't see they're not going to advertise that so don't always think that fairy tales are the way to live life because you'll be sadly mistaken what is your favorite quote i have so many different favorite quotes currently i actually have one on my phone that i've been really loving this one just says when you love what you have you have everything you need and i truly believe that um, obviously i like a lot of different kinds of quotes out there but i always tell myself that everyone is going to always want more but like I said earlier, there are people who live with not even half of what you have and they are happy and they live every day happy because they have family or because they have the, a roof under their above their head. So I always try to stop when I'm being negative or if I'm being, you know, very greedy and say, love what you have because that's everything you need. 
The next question is number 36. What was your favorite subject in school? I really didn't like elementary school. I struggled in elementary and for the most part high school as well. But my last year of high school, I really found my passion in like healthcare and children care and working with kids. Um, I think I did pretty well in the child care course that I took and that kind of opened my eyes to like what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. The 37 is subject you were best at. I think I really did well in like the healthcare class that I was just talking to you about and parenting because I really enjoyed it. Like it was something that I wasn't just in class like oh like an hour left or like 20 minutes left. Like I enjoyed it and I was really interactive in the class. And I did my research without, you know, having to do research. Like, you know how the teacher will tell you, like, research this. Like, I would go home and research things about, like, children, about medication and, you know, um, disabilities in the world that I'd never even heard of. And I actually put my energy into something. And that's kind of when I knew, like, okay, I need to pursue my career in child and youth worker. And, yeah. I think that was probably one of my best subjects and then 38 is my favorite teacher and it's funny because as I'm talking about the parenting course and the healthcare course the teacher that comes to mind and I actually have not thought about this ever since but her name was Miss Trombetta um, she's obviously not watching this and I don't think anyone that watches my channel will know who she is but if you guys do you know who I'm talking about it was funny because she was a bad ASS like she was a good teacher but she was very like this is my classroom these are the rules and yeah and I just remember thinking like oh my god like, the teacher is so hard like I had her for geography in grade 9 and again like I hated geography guys I really did and she was a tough marker as well like I remember for geography and I also like I didn't like geography so I mean I didn't do well in it but um, then I had her in grade 10, I want to say for parenting, but I could be wrong. And then I had her in grade 11 for healthcare, and then I had her for in grade 12 for something as well. But as the years went on, I just realized, like, she was just so passionate of teaching. And then once I started to kind of accept her, I guess, teaching ways, I would connect with her. And she was such an amazing person to talk to. Like, she really pushed you to do what you loved. She was definitely like my favorite teacher and like obviously she stuck in my mind for a reason and I just remember her being super positive with me which I really appreciated like not a lot of teachers made that effort to make that connection with students and she definitely did. Number 39 is do you have a best friend if so then who? I have a few really good friends that I message daily or I feel comfortable talking to. Um, obviously my sisters you guys know are like my ride or dies but I have a few girlfriends that I could message them whenever I need to talk and one of them is Megan. I've been friends with her for so many years guys like literally she's just like a sister to me um, her friend is Rebecca she's literally like my twin everyone says we look alike and that we could pass as sisters and then I have another friend Brittany she's actually one that I met from working at the school board she's probably like my three top best friends they are honestly the girls that I always go to if I need anything and they are awesome and I'm so lucky to have them 40s who has made the most impact on your life. I'd probably have to say my parents because they literally came here with absolutely nothing when you know my sisters were really little and they made a whole future based on what they had when they first came to Canada which a lot of people say it's easy and like you know immigrants have it so easy. They really don't guys. They don't come with like thousands of dollars or anything like that. They come here to live a better life because in their other countries especially in Portugal at the time it was really hard to find jobs and they wanted my sisters and I to have a good job and have a good future and that honestly takes guts. It's like picking up all your stuff and saying goodbye to your family and moving to a country that you literally only know one person like that obviously took guts and they literally just always amaze me every day with how much they do for my family and I and I'm just so blessed to have such a strong family to use the most I love 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 Pinterest like I know that's like really old now but I love Pinterest um, Instagram Twitter Facebook Snapchat has been like my literally go to app because there's so much to do on it now like when I first got snapchat I really didn't like it but now there's so much to do on it and I number 42 what piece of technology can you not live without this is pretty easy my cell phone I would not be able to live without it what country, 44 is what countries would you like to visit I would definitely like to visit Rome it's so beautiful there I've seen people take pictures from like my Instagram and stuff like that and I'm literally mind blown about how beautiful it is and I would like to go back to Ledio's hometown which is Albania I think it would just be amazing to see where he grew up and see his old house and stuff like that that'd be cool 45 what is on top of your bucket list so I kind of talked about this but definitely traveling would probably be the top top of my bucket list 86 is what is your best memory that you have 
Um, I have quite a few, but I would say my last visit to Portugal, seeing my family, seeing the scenery is probably like my most favorite memory just because honestly you don't realize how lucky you are to have family and friends with you that live super close by until you know or you don't have family around you. Number 47 is what's one of your most embarrassing memories? Okay, so if you really truly know me, you know that I don't get embarrassed. It's like very rare for that to happen. Like, I'll just laugh about it and walk away from the situation. But um, when I was reading these questions, one thing I could remember is the first time that I went to um, a boyfriend's of the past house. And I remember walking down the stairs because they were calling us for dinner. And I remember thinking, like, how funny it would be if it just fell right now. I remember his mom coming down to the bottom of the stairs and asking me if I liked something. I don't remember what she asked me. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I love those. And I'm walking. And his stairs were, was, there was a set of stairs here. Then there was, like, a little pathway to go to another set of stairs. So I'm walking. I almost up like, that part where it's, like, the flat surface. And I literally missed that last step. I fell. And I'm rolling down the stairs in front of her and literally knock her over. And I remember rolling over and thinking, like, please don't knock her down. Like, it happened so fast. But I remember remember thinking that and I ended up knocking her over and she ended up dropping I think a plate of cake or something and I was like how freaking embarrassing and this is like the first time that I've ever met them so I was like oh my god like this is so typical Karina move but 48 is how many relationships have you been in I had like relationships in the past nothing too serious so I'd probably say like out of like the serious relationships I've had two 49 if you can give your younger self any advice what would it be Honestly, like this is going to sound really cliche, but do not stress little things. I remember being 14 and being crushed over a guy, and I remember being 16 crushed over a guy, and I remember thinking, like, I am never going to have a boyfriend again. Like, this sucks. Like, no one's ever going to want to date me and stuff. And honestly, like, thinking back now, I just laugh because all those relationships are so irrelevant and do not do any good for me and would not make me happy. So it's just, like, funny thinking back, like, wow, you really got upset about that. So I would tell my younger self that. Number 50, one thing you know now that you wish you had known as kids. That it's better to have one good friend opposed to a group of 20 friends or 10 friends or 5 friends because at the end of the day, like, you don't need numbers to feel happiness. Honestly, you can have that one or maybe two amazing friends and you will feel so much more joy than having a group of 50 or 10 friends and I still stand by that and time and time again I've been proven that people do not change so that's one thing I want to stress I mean that again could be another video I'm like thinking of all these video ideas that I can do now because I love advice videos um, but definitely that do not worry that you don't have 30 friends like you see on Instagram with all those girls posting because at the end of the day, one good friend is better than having 20 friends that are not actually down for your happiness. So that's the end of this video. I'm sorry that I talk so much. Um, I think this is going to be fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love doing chat videos as you guys can tell. If you guys want me to do like advice series or anything like that, let me know because I really enjoy giving advice to people. That was like something that I wanted to do when I was younger. So if you guys want me to do another video on like advice or you know story times, let me know. I definitely can do that for you. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!